Black Lives Matter in hot water after tax documents show how the nonprofit is spending his donation. They made a lot of money, too, took in a lot of money. Foundation paid more than $2 million to a consulting firm run by a member of their board of directors. $1.4 million was spent on lobbying. Another $1.8 million spent on people with close ties to co-founder Patrice Cullors, including her son's father and her brother. Is the very premise behind the organization, and that is that the police are engaging in systemic racism against black people. It is a lie. Black conservative and overall clown Larry Elder just got up on Fox News recently and said basically that the Black Lives Matter movement is nothing but a lie. I am not someone without my own critiques of Black Lives Matter, mainly being that, you know, a genuine populist uprising and movement just wasn't really tethered to anything tangible, i.e. the traditional ways that you would tether a movement via certain institutions. It could be labor unions, the church, uh, you name it. Uh, the, the, the movement wasn't tethered to anything tangible. And so the power and the thrust of it was sort of disparate and couldn't be weaponized against anything because of this lack of organization. So that's a valid and fair critique, I think, of Black Lives Matter. However, coming from Larry Elder, that's rich. There's a Harvard economist, a black Harvard economist from the inner city like I am, who did a study, and he found out, if anything, the police were more hesitant, more reluctant to pull the trigger on a black suspect than a white suspect. Because of the police becoming more passive for fear of being accused of systemic racism, there are hundreds of so-called excess deaths in towns like Baltimore, Chicago, uh, uh, New York, where they have these high-end uh, shootings, uh, and subsequently the police are pulling back, uh, no longer engaging in proactive policing. It's called the Ferguson Effect. Larry Elder and other black conservatives of his ilk are nothing more than race hucksters, race basically traitors, right? They get up on conservative outlets and they play the role of ble being the black face or the black mouthpiece of conservative agendas, which is basically that black people do not need assistance from the government because somehow when the government helps you, uh, it's a bad thing. But of course, that's only the case when you're black. Uh huh. And so just know that people like Larry Elder in sort of in return for being black race traders and hucksters, they get to, they get to, like being on Fox News is lucrative. Uh, getting your own conservative black radio show is lucrative. They get to make money off of this race trading, right? Um, and, it, and again, it's not as if they're doing anything out of some fact-based thing or something that they actually believe in deep down inside. All it is is this bull same old black respectability bootstrap messaging which says you don't need the government black man get up by your bootstraps and do it yourself which ignores all the ways that government largesse essentially created the first and only middle class of its kind in the U.S., which was the GI Bill, uh, government loans for home ownership, for cheap interest rates, government back loans, all of these things, uh, you know, you name it, all of these programs, land grants that the government gave to its white citizens, all of these things that created the greatest and largest black middle class ever known to man which were made by government large just yet somehow if the government helps black people is going to turn us into idiots bumbling idiots and ground us into dust um of course again just remind yourself that he's doing this stuff in exchange for enriching himself at the cost of the black masses with this stupid messaging about, you know, government help is only detrimental to black people. Even though we know in this country, the, the, the government's aid has enriched white people uh, once over for hundreds of years.